Hello everyone, Darko here. Today I will show you settings after calibration of LG's 55 inch E6V OLED TV. This is a UHD Premium certified OLED TV in LG's 2016 lineup. Probably one of the best 55 inch TVs this year available on the market. I will go to menu basically to show you different picture presets on this reference image. By default this TV comes in standard mode which you see right now. Not good result, definitely not using all the benefits of this remarkable OLED technology. Same is for other presets except for cinema and expert bright room and expert dark room. These presets are much more precise, although also you should calibrate them, especially on TV of this class, to really take full benefit of this technology. For calibration in Rec. 709 color space, I selected Expert Dark Room with peak luminance after calibration of 200 nits. Now let's go to all settings menu. Here we have access to more advanced settings. But just one second, I will go to aspect ratio and tell you that for full picture on screen, you will need to select either 16 by nine or original. And here below, turn just scan on. Otherwise, overscan will be engaged and you will lose edges of the picture. Okay, let's go here. As I said, peak luminance target was 200 nits, so I achieved that by adjusting OLED light to 60. Contrast at 80. Brightness I had to increase because by default details in darkest shadows were not visible, so I had to increase brightness to 56. Horizontal and vertical sharpness at default values. Color 50, tint 0. Now let's go to expert controls where you see dynamic contrast off. Same goes for super resolution. Color gamut is normal. This way you will cover 99% of Rec. 709. If you want more colors, for example, for watching UHD Blu-ray, then wide and extended options will give you up to 97% of DCI-P3 and 71.3% of REC 2020. Just for information, UHD Premium Certificate requires 90% plus of DCI-P3 coverage and this TV covers 97%, so excellent result. Edge Enhancer off, Color Filter off, Gamma 2.4. By default it is in BT1886, but I decided to go with Gamma 2.4, which is great for watching movies, and tweak it through new white balance 20 point controls, which now also, starting this year, have adjusting luminance option, so you can tweak Gamma at 20 different levels. So now let's see for each level what the values are. IRE 100, option is at 0, 95 is minus 4, 90 is minus 6, 85 is minus 2, 80 is minus 3, 75 is minus 6, 70 is minus 10, 65 is minus 4, 60 is minus 7, 55 is minus 10, 50 is minus 10, 45 is minus 9, 40 is minus 16, 35 is minus 16, 30 is minus 15, 25 is minus 17, 
20 is minus 16, 15 is minus 17, 10 is minus 17, and 5 is minus 14. Okay, so these are settings for adjusting gamma. Now let's go to white balance. Color temperature warm to by default in expert presets, should remain that way. And as usual with LG, 20 point white balance control doesn't really work perfectly. And also, even if you have this small window in bottom left corner of the screen, results will be a little different compared to when you don't have any menu on screen. Um, going through grayscale ramps and checking options, I decided only adjust two point white balance control for high and low values. And here you see which they are. So for bright areas, red is zero, green is plus one and blue is plus three. And for low points, so for dark area of the screen, so for dark area of the picture, red is 35, green is minus eight and blue is 24. You can copy these settings to all inputs by pressing this option. Okay, let's go to color management system. As usual, LG offers for primary and secondary colors, adjustment of saturation, tint and luminance. In expert dark room preset colors, especially red and green were a bit oversaturated, but when I went to achieve exact targets of Rec. 709, then I saw that saturation sweeps were no longer okay. So this is a compromise between oversaturated colors and good saturation on different levels. In short, for red, saturation is minus five, tint is plus two and luminance at zero. For green, saturation minus six, Tint minus 9, luminance plus 1. For blue, only luminance increased to plus 4. Now let's see secondary colors. Cyan, saturation minus 2, tint 0, luminance plus 1. Magenta, saturation 0, tint plus 1, luminance plus 1. And Yellow, saturation minus one, tint minus one, luminance plus one. This basically covers all expert controls. Now let's see picture options, noise reduction off, MPEG noise reduction also off, black level depending on type of signal, motion eye care off, and true motion. I prefer picture without soap opera effect for watching movies, so I selected user and the other at zero, the blur at plus 10. This covers picture options. You can copy all those settings to all inputs, but one remark, color management system settings will not be copied, so you should copy that by hand. So as you saw from graphs and from these settings, by default, in all presets, picture is not really great to show full potential of this TV, even for watching ordinary Blu-rays. So I highly recommend that you hire an experienced calibrator to do individual calibration on TV of this class. You will see the difference and settings I show here are just for your information. You can apply them, you can try to tweak picture using your eyes and test discs, but again, I highly recommend hiring a calibrator to do the job. Full review coming soon, also I will publish motion resolution video. So thank you guys for your questions, comments, sharing of your experience with calibration and TVs. And I see you in some other video very soon. Bye!